Hey, my name is Stuart Brunt. In this video, I want to briefly explain what a bubbler system is, how you use it, why you use it, how you connect it. Okay, so a bubbler system is a system that you're going to use to find a level of like a tank, a uh, pressurized tank, and, um, or a vessel with liquid in it, or like a pond, where you don't have access to the bottom of this container, um, and you can't use a hydrostatic pressure transmitter. So what happens is, is you're going to generate bubbles by um, controlling some type of an air supply that is going to be fed into a tube that goes close to the bottom of the vessel. Okay, and what's happening here is as the the level of your container is uh, filled with water or increases uh, with in depth, all right, in level, uh, that the pressure that's going to be needed in order to force these bubbles or to force air out of this tube is going to increase. And based on this increase in pressure, we can find the level of our tank. So, um, in this case, there's an open tank. Okay, so this is vented to atmosphere. Okay, and we are using a differential pressure transmitter because we can't use a hydrostatic pressure transmitter because we don't have access to the bottom of the tank. So, um, what, what's happening here is the high side is connected to our... Um, is connected to our uh, pipe here, and the low side is con is not connected to anything. It's also vented to atmosphere, and it does its uh, job, and it compares the high and the low, and it sends an electric signal to our level controller, and we can find the depth. So it's important to know that um, in a closed tank uh, or pressurized tank, uh, you can also use your um, differential pressure transmitter, and you can use your bubbler, Everything's good. We control the air flow into the tank very accurately using our flow controller. And um, in this situation, the low side is actually connected to our vessel. And um, the high side is still connected to our tube. And it uses its high minus low. And it tells us an electric signal. And we can find the depth of our tank. It's important to know that the pressure transmitter needs to be mounted above the tank. And um, I hope that's this is a helpful, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the links below.